Hey guys, what's good? It's me, Jay Lee. You're watching Jay Lee Sees, and today, Jay Lee Sees The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. Season 1, Episode 1. <laughs> so, I'm back at it. It seems like Daryl's back at it. Question is, is you gonna come back at it with us? So, after watching all of the original season of The Walking Dead on my channel. Once I finished, I was like, I've had enough. Two years of my life to this post-apocalyptic show. The anxiety of it got the better of me. So I didn't actually think I was going to get around to this nearly as soon as I have. But it seems I just can't stay away. And that brings us to where we are today. So, The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. Um, not the most creative of titles. And I don't know about you, but to me that also implies that Daryl Dixon's definitely going to last the series. Because his name's the title. And if that's the case, that kind of does ease some of my anxiety. Which I really think I need. I don't really know. What I do know is I am actually so excited to continue into this universe. Find out what's going on with Daryl because he was one of my favourite characters. So I'm so obsessed that he gets his own spin-off show. And I'm ready to see him in a new environment around new people. <gasps> So let's get into it, shall we? Before we start, I just want to let everybody know the footage that we're watching does not belong to me. I think it still belongs to AMC. I'll have to double check that. But without further ado, lights, camera, action! Wait, what? Yeah, that is Daryl. I was just like wondering and having to double check. But no, that is Daryl. What is you doing sailing the seven seas? I do not know what happened to you, sir, but it's so good to see your face again. Oh, this looks run down and beat up. I was going to say, we never really got clarification or confirmation that the zombie apocalypse, like, took over the whole entire world. I don't know where he is, but this place definitely looks like it's been hit too. I don't even think Daryl knows where he is. How long were you asleep on that little canoe boat? Wait, are we in the south of France? I am so excited for a brand new batch of characters, I ain't gonna lie. Even though seeing Daryl without Carol is going to break my face. I mean my heart, and probably my face. My name's Daryl Dixon. I come from a place called the Commonwealth. Oh my god! I don't know that place! So you is not in America. If I don't make it back, I want him to know I tried. Hell, I'm still trying. Oh, my little babes. Oh my God, all this new scenery to take in. I love it. And so far, we've not seen an animated walker. All the walkers that we have stumbled upon are already dead. So is this place now safe? I doubt it. How did he end up in France? I've crossed the Atlantic Ocean and that is a long stretch of water, dear. Oh no, just as I say it, there's a half animated walker. They are still going to be a nuisance and a bane to our existence, a thorn in my side. Bonjour, je m'appelle Daru. Oh 
Wait, oh my god, what kind of walker is this? It's like burning him like Harry Potter did to Professor Quivel. I don't understand why these walkers are like radioactive or some shit. That's concerning. So not only do we have to worry about the bites and the scratches and all that shit, but they just can't even touch us point blank and the period. I can't believe it tried to melt your arm off. I don't know how I did that. We need to kind of investigate that shit. But from a safe distance, if you don't mind. Oh, I thought there was someone watching you. Bonjour. Do you speak the American English? I can't believe we're in France. I know I've said it a few times, but I can't believe it. <laughs> I feel like France is so close to me that I can literally just pop over the water right now and help him out a little bit. Oh, so Davil's got to learn a whole new land, a whole new language, a whole new form of walker, whole new people, hopefully. Shut up. I just gave a Harry Potter reference about Harry Potter touching Professor Quirrell or burning his life away. Is that a Fleur de la Clear? Bonjour. Uh, bonjour. Yes, bonjour, bitch. Bonjour. Bonjour. Vous inquiétez pas, ça va? Oh no, I don't understand any more French than bonjour, je m'appelle. I'm sorry, I don't understand you. Oh no, sir, I feel you. Oh, good, yes, let's speak American. Oh. Merci. These are our new friends. I don't think Grandpa's gonna last long, I ain't gonna lie, but... Hey, anyway. I'm Maribel. Maribel. Um, hey, Guillaume. Guillaume. Maybe we go together, you know? Oh, Maribel, Guillaume. I need to write this shit down. Resistance. US GIs uh, fight together. Your country, my country. Like friends. Yes, we're allies. Let's stick together. Woohoo! We no countries no more neither. Davil, you've never been the most hospitable person in the world, but have you just tried being nice immediately? Says me, come season five of the normal Walking Dead, I was like, don't trust any new person at all, let's just kill them before they got a chance to kill us. But you know, I've had a few months off, I'm chill again. Assis toi. Assis toi, dépêche-toi. Je parle pas français. Bonjour. You ain't gonna provide me subtitles for this bit? Are we like Davil? We're just like, mm, ain't got a clue what's going on. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, did they just shoot his comrade in the head? Oh my god, we've literally been here five minutes and we're already causing trouble. Oh, I've missed this show. Save the powder. Oh, okay. I literally had pen and paper ready to write that man's name down, but I do not think it matters anymore. Wait, so you've had... Why are you getting us now? I was going to say, you just had your camp raided within the first five seconds of us being here. Is this a regular occurrence? But it might not matter because you slapped us in the face as well. And now you're robbing our shit? What is French for go fuck yourself? Oh, don't come over here and try to stab us in the head too. You can't. My name's on a title card, babes. Oh my god, I'm so trusting in this Maribel. I was literally just said, you know what? New people, yay, let's love them. But nah, we got slapped in the head. <gasps> Judith! I'll bring them home. It's not like we're Carol! 
I mean, I guess the chances of running into any of our old pals is very, very slim, considering we are in France now. Are we fighting fire with fire there? And is that actually going to help us? Or are you just being nasty to us for no reason? Welcome to France. Oh my god, are we in a coven? Okay, random. You feeling better? Oh my god, why are you so British? Name is Isabel. Oh no, you're not British. Oh, Isabel. You're a guest. Oh no, she is British. Make up your mind, babes. What's this accent about? Cauterization is the best way to prevent the spread. Brûlant. A brûlant. A brûlant. Brûlant. A burner. A burner? Burner is just one kind. How many kinds are there, bitch? You're from America? A place called Commonwealth, right? Mm-hmm. Wait, how do you know this Found shit? A tape recorder. Oh, okay. <laughs> how did you come to be in France? We do not know, I don't think. To bad decisions. So, my man Daryl, he said a bunch of bad decisions led him to... Being treated by a bunch of nuns in a convent in France. I want to know what these decisions were, Mary. I think we might find out the decisions, you know. Was that a little flash? Are we going to get more of these reoccurring little flashes? Until we have a picture of how we got here. Believe humanity is enduring a test from which we will soon be delivered. Mm, I don't know about that, sister. Yeah, I never put much stock in her. God? Mm -hmm. Well, he put stock in you. And we were friends with a priest for a long time. This scars on your back? Looks like you have some too. Oh. What is your story, Isabel? Across the courtyard is where the sisters live. No men allowed. What about the little boy I saw? <clears throat> Laurent grew up here. Laurent. With us, he was orphaned. Medieval churches often had weapons rooms. You needed them back then. That makes sense. We've trained ourselves to use them, just in case. Gangster nuns. Killer nuns, huh? Mm-hmm. My sister and I finished our schooling in Paris. How'd you end up here? A bunch <laughs> of good decisions. Oh, quite the opposite to you, sir. Take a seat. I'll be right back. I feel like I'm watching some mad, weird, tripped-up sister act. <laughs> Why is this little Laurent copying everything we do? Can we train him to be our apprentice? Pense que c'est donc cet homme-là. Think this man is the one? J'ai vu sa force. The one to save us all? Probably. If that's what you're getting at, I think he might be. Les nôtres. C'est quelqu'un qui vit sans Dieu. Comme moi autrefois. Oh, so she's a newly converted nun. Very sister act. This little Laurent is probably like, oh my god, he's the only other man I've ever seen in my whole entire life. No wonder why he wanted to copy him. <laughs> Père Jean told me everything. Pardon my manners, Monsieur. I'm Laurent. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Oh, we're not pronouncing it Laurent. It's Oh no, I'm just gonna call you Laurent. Do you have children, Monsieur? A wife? Parents? You had a dog? No. I feel things in my stomach. I feel your sadness. 
is it that a few times you feel things in his stomach? At first I thought he might have just had indigestion, but that might be something that we need to pay attention to. a happy ending too. <gasps> oh my god, he's our little French Judith! Time for poetry. Père Jean awaits. Père Jean awaits? I thought this Père Jean was dead. Père Jean. How the hell are we spelling Père Jean? I do not even know these people, but oh dear, already. This Maribel and Guillaume, they keep running into trouble, don't they? Désolé, monsieur, on n'a rien vu. Merci. Really, that easy? Oh no, my man's got a bad ankle and now he's got a bad jawline. Oh. Il y a un mec qui est venu pour nous dépouiller. S'il vous plaît, monsieur. C'est quoi la récompense? Oh. Exactly. Don't give up anything for free, especially if that. Have we just killed the old man? Oh, Guillaume. I knew you weren't long for this world, but I thought you survived the first episode. Oh my god, so these men are the real bad guys here. And now they've stolen little Maribel. I won't cross Guillaume's name out. <laughs> so I don't get confused. Sur la montagne des montes, sur la mer, sur les bateaux. What the hell are you doing? This is Père Jean. We are waiting for him to rise again. Oh dear. That is not normal. Let me explain. Yeah, you got some explaining to do, sister. You got a lot of witchy shit going on around here. Dead priest in a closet and a creepy kid. <laughs> not what you think. You can't leave, not without us. We've been waiting for you. I know you've been saying that. You're the messenger. Am I the though? Messenger. To deliver Laurent. Deliver Laurent to who? So what? I saw you fight the guy. Yeah, I know you can get him there safely. I have no idea what you're talking about. Get him. Leader is a Buddhist monk. He recognized something in Laurent, an answer to a prophecy. This has got to do without his belly. Laurent is special. I think you see that. Do I? His mother died in childbirth. He shouldn't have survived that. Oh, he needs right. teaching. Guidance we cannot provide. He'll be safer there, nurtured. Until he's ready. <sighs> ready for what? To be the new messiah. What? To lead the revival of humanity. Oh, see, you lost me, bitch. You lost me. That don't make no sense. There's a port up north that may still be active. Show me. Le Havre. We've had rumors of ships that come and go. Hard to find your way. Harder if you don't speak French. I need a minute to digest what I've just learned. So, all of these nuns in the convent. Convent? Covent? Convent? All of these bitches in the house, they all think that Davil's been sent here because Laurent is the saviour of the world and Davil has to teach him and take him somewhere. Mr. Tattoo Man seems really tormented about having to put down his friend. But I do not feel no sympathy or sorriness for you, bitch, because you just killed an old man for no entire reason. Et y a ça. C'est une fille de l'abbaye qui affiche ça partout. Sœur Isabelle. Ah, mais nous, on les bonnes sœurs. Oh my god, no, that actually is where we are. Clever Frenchmen. That means we shall meet again. He doesn't know about any of it. He's young, it's too much to put on him. So you put it on us? Know. We're a stranger. I ain't looking to make any more. The world is lost, we know that. Hope fades gradually and then all at once. Why not bet on hope? It ain't my problem. It actually is not our problem at all, sister. But we might need these nuns and their weapons because Maribel has proper snitched you up, bitch.
And now we got some angry tattooed French man coming after you. Ah, luckily he left the castle when he did. And then hopefully, if they really do believe that Daryl was the one to deliver the Messiah or whatever his secret special chosen mission is, they will keep his identity hidden and be like, oh, I do not know what you're on about, in order to protect him, because obviously they need him to help Laurent. But are nuns allowed to lie? I suppose we're about to find out. Bonjour, ma mère. Je cherche un fugitif en américain. Quelle est leur faute, tenez-vous prêt? Why do we need to hide Laurent? Is it because he doesn't know how to tell lies? And he'll be like, yeah, mommy, Daryl, he was American. I copied everything he did. Oh, I hope she really is a gangster nun. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm happy. We are going to fight today. We found that. À côté que deux de mes hommes aient été tués. J'en ai un qui était mon frère. Je les colle partout où je vais. No sympathy, killed no man. Oh, oh no, I'm quite scared for a little Laurent already. On y va. Oh yeah, welcome to our convent, this is our priest, don't mind him, he's just resting up. The bayonet, vise la tête. C'est Jean, allez. S'il vous plaît, monsieur. Oh, even he knows about old father Jean. Philippe, oui, arrête de conner, tes parents vont les prier ici. Vas-y, je te dis. Je t'ai reçu le catéchisme, père Jean t'a confessé. I mean, to be fair, Father Jean, let's... He is beyond saving, we know that. But they don't know that, so I feel bad for them a little bit. No, oh no, what are you doing, kid? You had one instruction, you little shit. No. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh my god, we're back. Oh, please be gangster. Do it. But yeah, you all mess with us? You all come in our house and try to spill some blood? You all kill our dead priest? <gasps> I can't believe we actually shot nuns. That is so rude of us. It's one thing killing a dead priest, but killing living nuns? Oh! There's no salvation or redemption for that. I do not think there is. I kind of don't want this man to die. Oh, too late. <laughs> I was going to say because he had a bit of compassion, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> that will, you know, as much as the rest of us, just keep shooting or else they're going to come back and they're going to be annoying. <laughs> Ah, oh, the bastardo got away. Don't worry, monsieur. Monsieur? Mon monsieur? We're gonna come fuck you up. I can't believe they killed all these nuns. Oh, fuck off, me. Oh no, his mother nun dying too. I Maybe you never saw a reason to. What you're saying is absurd. That is a lot of responsibility to put on a kid.
And on us, have we got a delivered kid? Peut-être. Est-ce bien celui qu'on attendait? Oh my god. Not a pleasant afternoon in the convent. And old mother nun, that was a like dying wish, like please, just like keep an open mind and think about it. And now we're gonna be tied forever to this little French Judith. Are we lost, Ezra? We're never lost, Uka. I'm a bit lost, I ain't gonna lie. I ran into some bad people. They put me on a boat. That didn't go well. You can take me to that place, right? That place with the port. We're going to team up? Yes. All right, then. Oh, we got the beginnings of a gang. We need a few more people on our team. So we got the chosen one, the gangster nun, and the future messiah. All walk into a bar. <laughs> And they're the good guys. Oh, also Maribel, she's probably good too. And then we've got the bad guys. And then we've also got these burners, which are concerners. Bad day for you, sir. Your brother died, you killed a load of nuns, and you got shot up a few times. Who's in control, if not you? Who are these? Madame Zonet. The captain is only good at his crew. Who was he? He was named... Dixon. 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 If he's not dead, find me. Oh my god, Darryl, you is popular in France, mate. There's quite a fair bit to dissect here, isn't there? So let's... Grab a scalpel and let's dissect this shit. Okay guys, that episode is done and dusted. Let's talk about it. And had you have asked me prior to watching this episode, what did I think would have happened to Daryl Dixon after the main events of the main series? Ending up in a convent full of nuns was not was not one of them. But here we are. So over in America, he was looking out for something. He was on the hunt. He got found by people. They put him on a boat and he's ended up in France. Well, he didn't know this was going to happen to him. I definitely did not know this was going to happen to him. But someone who might offer his little Laura. Because this little kid drew a picture of a man emerging from the sea three weeks ago. So now that Daryl's turned up to the convent, the nuns have put two and two together and decided, Oh my god, Daryl is the chosen one who is meant to deliver the Messiah to... I don't know. Maybe I was told and I just... It went over my head. So I'll have to watch while editing. But Daryl is like, I ain't doing that. I don't know any of you. So he goes on his merry little way. But while this is all happening, there is a gang of men led by this man with a tattoo on his face. And he wants revenge because his brother got skewered. Which, to be fair, was by Daryl. So he goes over to the convent because little Maribel, who was there and witnessed Daryl do this, she snitched on him. So they went over to the convent and they just started murdering all the nuns. Because why not, I suppose? But Daryl's like, you can't just murder nuns and let... I can't let you murder nuns and turn a blind eye. So he comes back and helps the nuns. Um, but there aren't any nuns left, really. It is just Daryl, the main nun, Isabella, um, Laurent, and maybe some other nun. And he's like, okay, we're going to have to go... I'm assuming they're going to La Havre, so we're going to have to go there. But people are already in La Havre, and they are waiting for him, or they want to find him. So there may be trouble ahead. And also, when this first started, and I was trying to discover where the hell Daryl is in the world, I noticed that there weren't a lot of um, animated walking walkers. So I thought, oh, maybe we've reached a corner of the earth where this won't be a problem. But, hell no, because not only are they still around, and are an active problem, but these ones, they're called burners, and if they touch you, they're gonna burn your skin. Now, how did this variation of Walker come about? 
Did they die from acid and now they're dead, decaying corpses skin is impregnated with acid? And I swear they said that was just one variant. What can the others do? Walkers in France are built different. And I do not think I'm ready for that. But what I am ready for is to continue this adventure with Daryl Dixon. It helps because, you know, for the last 10 years I've been invested in this man. And so I'm totally invested right from the jump. And Isabel and Lahan, I'm invested in them too. And Mr. Man with the tattoo on his face, I'm invested in his demise. So I'm really excited to see where this little series goes. So if you want to be with me for it, and you ain't done so already, feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you are watching this on Patreon, you will know that all of these videos will be up way before I edit any of them for YouTube. And any questions that I have that have me scratching my head that you can tell me the answers to without giving away any spoilers, then please do so down below. So I'm going to power through the sixth episode of Daryl Dixon and then I think I'm going on to Dead City. So I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited to be back. And so until next time, guys, stay safe out there.